Don't even look at that screen. How successful that will be. This is, this is the world. It's all inviting us. Look at me. Do this. Do this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, these are all temptations. We have to control our souls. This is all to try us to see who would do good deeds. In spite of all of this, who still would do the good deeds? Whatever is on this earth, we merit the beauty of this earth. I remember when initially computers started coming out, at least to our, from our perspective, we saw it in the market. You know those computers I remember uh, with the big floppy drive. You buy that computer and it looks so nice. You know, in those days you look at that computer, it looks so nice. And people are buying those computers, $3,000, $4,000, $5,000. Today, if someone will give you $500 to take the computer, you may not want to take that computer. It's garbage. What am I going to do with it? It's trash. He wants to give you a whole lot of it for free. No one wants to take it. It's the same thing. It's in our age, I meaning we have seen the time that I mean, 10 years, 15 years ago, we would pay three, four thousand dollars for it and it looks so beautiful. Today it doesn't even worth a trash. It's worse than that. We don't even want to bring it for the trash in the house. Cars, when we were young. Oh, my father's car, you know, it's just, this is the beautiful car. Today you look at that car. If someone will give you a free ride, you don't want to sit in it. And the things that we are, that are pulling us towards themselves today, tomorrow this will be their situation. How beautiful they look. It looks like there can't be nothing better than this anymore. That's it. Oh, look at the dial on it. Look at the screen. Look at these new buttons on it. Look at these features. Look at the speed. Look at the... Is everything is so tempting, you don't want to go for it. After a few years, you don't like it anymore. It's a burden on you. If you get it out, you can get a better one now. This is dunya. And it will never end. It's endless. This is endless process. It continues. In fact, it keeps on getting worse and worse. And it will keep on getting worse until the time of the jah. So, these are all the situations that we have to deal with. Inna ja'alna ma'al ardu zinatan laha. Whatever is on this, on this earth, we made it the beauty of this earth. We made it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that I made that zina. I made it the beauty of this earth. And what is the reason for me to make it that way? لِنَبْلُوَهُمْ أَيُّهُمْ أَحْسَنُ amala. To test them, to see who would do the best deeds. In spite of all of these invitations from all of these things, who would still do the good deeds? Challenges. This world is all about challenges that we are facing and we have to face. And if we take it upon our souls and we work towards it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I will give you my rida, I will give you my pleasure, I will give you my rahmah. Fadlullahi wa rahmatuh. Through the father of Allah, Allah says, I will purify you. I will clean you, I will purify you. It's only realizing that we have to go through this, we have to work on these issues, and we have to purify ourselves from these things. Once we realize it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, through His rahmah and fadl, I will purify you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give all of us tawfiq to understand the reality of this dunya, to understand the reality of these things that are around us, and to understand these challenges, and be able to stand for them, and follow the deen of Allah and still in spite of all of these temptations still do the best deeds according to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that will please Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisa'il al-muslimin wa al-muslimat wa akhru da'wana alhamdulillah